Okay, so here we have this question. Now, just look carefully. There is the question over here at the bottom. So I just had to try to fit everything onto the screen. So it says here, the table below shows the size in carrots. Um, and the, now remember, we're not talking about vegetables or things like that. We're talking about carrots as in, um, you, you know, carrot diamond that people talk about or the bling bling. So the table below shows the size in carrots and the price in rands of 10 diamonds that were sold by a diamond trader. So here's the here's the um, 10 diamonds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. They've also given us a scatter plot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So this data or data is just there. It's the same thing. They say here, this information is also presented in the scatter plot. Okay, so it's all just the same thing. Uh, the least squares regression line for the data is drawn. Okay, so the first question says, determine the equation of this least squares regression line for the data. So remember, this is all a calculator thing. So you are going to put your calculator into stat mode. Remember on a Casio, um, if you can't remember how to do that, you're going to say mode then you're gonna push the stat button. And then because it's grade 12, not grade 11, you're gonna push A plus BX. So you're looking for A plus BX. That is the regression equation. So you're gonna push that option on your calculator. Then you should see that um, you're gonna have an X column on your calculator and a Y. So they've told us that the top one is X, the bottom one is Y. So go ahead and enter all of those values. I'll see you a little bit later. Okay, so once you've entered all of those values, then you need to tell your calculator, hey calculator, I need you to give me the A value and the B value. So the way that you do that is you push the on button, okay, so it, not, it like um, takes you away from the screen where you were busy entering all the values. And then, so I thought I would actually just try to find a calculator and then actually show you. So I've entered all the values already. Now we need to go tell the calculator, hey calculator, I need the A value and I need the B value. So now you're gonna press the shift button and then the one, and then you're gonna not press number four. That would only be if we were busy with grade 11 statistics, but rather number five, which is regression, because we're looking for the regression line, so push number five, and there's the important parameters that you may be asked to find. So for number, to, so to find A, you're gonna press number one, and then you press equals. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly write that number down. And then we're gonna go find the B value. So you can press shift again, and then press number one, and just go back to the same screen that we were at, and then press number two this time, then press equals, and there's your B value. I'm just gonna write that down, and then I'll put it on the screen for us shortly. And so the value of A, if we round to two decimal places, was 634.38. And the value of B was 32189.26. So now when you write out the formula, or the, the least squares regression um, equation, it's Y equals to A plus BX, okay? So that's gonna be Y equals to A, which is 634.38, uh, plus B, which is 32189.26X. This question says, if the trader sold a diamond that was 0 0.25 carats, predict the selling price. Okay, so remember that this is the selling price. And then X, if you look at what X is, X is the size in carats. So we can use our formula now. Um, and that's going to give us... I mean, you could also look off the graph, I guess, at 0 0.25 carats. But I wouldn't do it that way. And I looked at the memo as well, and they want the specific value. So you're gonna use your equation that you generated in the previous question. And so you're gonna say uh, 634.38 plus 3218. And then the X is your carats, which is the 0 0.25. Okay, now you can go and type that on the calculator. 
and that would then give you 8681.70, and that's RAND. This question says, calculate the average price increase per 0 0.05 carat of the diamond. So as the, so what they want to know is as the price of car the carat changes by 0 0.05, what happens to the average price? So what I would do is we know from the previous question that a 0 0.25 carat had a price of um, 8681.70 rand. Okay, so then I would just increase that by 0 0.05. So I would go up to 0 0.3 carat. Don't use the, that's not I use about carrot, that's so embarrassing. Um, it's carrot, I forgot that we're not dealing with the stuff, the carrot you eat, but rather these carrot. Okay, so 0 0.3 carrot. Um, because why did I say 0 0.3? Because that's the increase of 0 0.05. Okay, um, don't use the table, you must use your formula, which was y equals to 634.38 um, plus 32189.26x. So we're going to go see what happens when the carrot is 0 0.3. And so that's 10,291.16. Okay, so... Look at when it was 0 0.25, that was the price. When it was 0 0.3, that was the price. So how much did it increase by? Well, if we say 10291.16 minus 8681.70, you end up with 1609.46. So it says here in the question, calculate the average price increase when you increase the carrot by 0 0.05. And that's what we've just done now. We looked at the price at 0 0.25, and then we increased that by 0 0.05, which is what they said, and that became 0 0.3. We calculated what that would be worth, and then we just minus them to see what is the increase um, from, uh, you know, whenever you increase by 0 0.05. This question says that it was later found that the selling price of the 0 0.35 carat was recorded incorrectly. Okay, so let's go to the 0 0.35. Oh, and there it was recorded. Remember, there was a value of t a table of values, but those values are exactly what we see here. So at 0 0.3, it was originally, sorry, 0 0.35, it was originally recorded at 10,000 uh, rand but they say that the correct price is 11,500. Okay, so that's gonna be, um, where's 11,500? So, well, there's 11,000, and then that would be 500. So it would be there instead, okay? Um, so that's the correct price. When this correction is made to the data, the correlation between the size and price of these diamonds gets stronger. Explain this reason by referring to the given scatter plot. Well, the way it works is that, let's say this dot over here. Okay, so remember, you've got all these dots, right? You can see all these dots over here. Now this line is trying to get as close to every single one of those dots as possible. That is what it's trying to do. And, um, okay, so these little distances between the dot and the line, the less that, or the, 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 the smaller that those values are, the more accurate this line actually is, okay? So if you take this dot and you had to move it down here instead, okay, so let's just erase where it was. Then what that would do is that this line, this line over here, would try to get as close to all the dots as possible, but it's also gonna try to get close to this dot, and so maybe it's gonna, the new line would go like that. And so this is gonna make the line less accurate, because now it's not really that close to these dots, because it's also trying to get closer to this dot. But if you move this dot a little bit closer to the line, so maybe like that over there, then it, this whole thing becomes more accurate because now this line over here can get even closer to all of these dots. So the reason that this uh, makes the correlation between the size and the price get stronger is because the, the new price 
is closer to the regression line. Okay.